Hey there and welcome to the May 2023 update for the Dallas-Fort Worth, North Texas housing market. I'm Chase Hansen, your DFW Realtor. Every month I'm here unpacking what it's really like for home buyers and sellers out there today. Not based on headlines and hot takes, but what me and my team are actually seeing working with clients every day and what we're hearing from the real estate professionals we connect with throughout the area. Not only that, but I'll be looking at one of the top factors influencing the housing market, where it's at and where it's going, so you can be informed as a consumer in the marketplace. It's May in Texas, which means the weather is about to start getting a lot warmer, school's about to let out for summer vacation, and this is the peak season for people buying and selling houses. We've had a very strong first half of the year so far, but if you read the news, you might see the articles or hear news commentators saying that real estate is struggling. That's what I'm going to get into in today's Nerd Corner. What's the conflict there? And what are people getting wrong? That's what we're going to talk about in our predictions and trends portion of the update. But first, I'm going to give you the news on the ground. This is the part of the update where I give you the on the ground report of what it's like to be a buyer or seller in today's market. On the whole, we are currently in a strong seller's market. What does that mean? A seller's market is when there's more buyers out looking for houses and there are sellers listing their houses. And so when that demand outpaces the supply, you see that sellers have a leg up and prices tend to rise at a more steady rate due to that competition. So buyers in this market are having to move quickly. You can't wait a week to see if the house you're interested in or to make a decision on making an offer or not. And the offers you are making need to be stronger because there's probably other people submitting an offer at the same time. Now, this doesn't mean you have to offer over asking price or overpay for a house. I've had several people get a house for the asking price recently and when appraisals came in it was right in line with that third party opinion of value what it means is that you need to go in with a strategy now i know for my people i am prepping the sales stats for the neighborhood before we've even seen the house so they can make quick decisions and i'm coaching them in what terms in an offer outside of just the price make them look better to get the house they want it's being strategic and having the team around you to get it done and on the seller side, just because the market is tilted in your favor doesn't mean you can be unreasonable. I still see houses sitting on the market for a long time because someone got greedy and thought they could overprice their house to take advantage of the market, and then they end up sitting for a long time, dropping their price two or three times, and then selling for less than they could have because when you sit for that long, people start to think something is wrong with the house. Pricing still matters. You still need to have your house presentable, and you need to know that if a home inspector finds something serious, you should be ready to negotiate some repairs. Again, it's about strategy and having a team around you to coach you through these decisions. Put your best foot forward and make sure you get the best out of your situation. If you're thinking of moving in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, I'd love to be a resource to you. You can contact me through email at chasehanson at raymax.net or on Instagram at Hanson Realtors DFW, and I'd be happy to sit down with you over coffee or on the phone for a consultation to work out your home needs and how I can serve you. Now we're going to move on to our nerd corner and talk about home prices. First though, go ahead and give this video a like if you haven't already. That helps us reach more people with this info. And if you aren't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and subscribe to keep up with these monthly updates as well as local highlights, home tours, and pro tips for people who are moving or thinking about moving. Now it's time to go a bit deeper. This is our Nerd Corner, where I dive into the trends, statistics, and news stories that are important for understanding and predicting our market. This month, we're talking about home prices. Now, the reason we're talking about home prices is because I have been seeing some alarming news stories, and I have a suspicion that those stories are about to get louder and more extreme. So I want my people to be ready. Here's an example of one of these headlines. This is Dallas Morning News last month. It says, Dallas-Fort Worth home prices drop for seventh straight month. Now, I'm not alarmed by the headline. I'm alarmed by the fact that the headline is wrong. I'm a professional real estate agent. I have direct access to the MLS and sales stats for all of North Texas. And so I know that we've had a strong several months with home prices steadily rising every month this year. These news headlines alarm me because the average person, the normal man, woman, or family planning to buy or sell a house reads that and thinks that the home market is different than what it is. So sellers think they're not going to be able to sell their house for what they want and decide not to list and buyers think that they can get some crazy good deal and jump in blind. So we end up with more demand, less supply, and the affordability gets worse, not better. So I'm gonna let you in on the secret of why reporters keep getting this wrong. 
I'm going to show you what's happening here so you'll be in the know when you see more of these headlines because I'm going to make a prediction right now. When the April numbers come out and May, June, and maybe even July as well, these headlines are going to keep coming out because of the issue I'm about to explain. The problem people are having is understanding the difference between month over month changes and year over year changes. Now, this goes to the basics of understanding a market cycle and something that your average news reporter just doesn't get because they aren't dealing with this stuff every day. And a lot of the time, they'd rather have a dramatic headline that gets clicks than information that helps people better understand what's happening. So the year over year price change is looking at what the difference is between prices last year and prices this year. So I'll give you that for March since April numbers aren't out yet at the time of this recording. The March 2023 median sales price for North Texas is $369,500. And the March 2022 median sales price was $367,530. That's a 0.5% increase in sales price year over year from March to March. Now, the month over month price change is looking at the difference between this month and last month in price changes. So, if March 2023 median sale was $369,500 and February 2023 median sale was $361,499, that makes the month over month increase in sales price 2.2%. Here's what those news stories are reporting on. Last summer prices went crazy and got very inflated because people were taking advantage of super low mortgage rates while they still could. Mortgage rates went up to cool down the market and return us to a more normal market cycle this year, but news stories keep reporting that prices have fallen even though they're comparing to the peak of an overinflated market. But if you look, prices today are up from both January 2022 and January 2023. And you can look at the trend lines and see objectively that prices are not falling, they're actually rising. But the fall of prices from the peak of last year was extreme, not because prices went down from the year before, but because they went too abnormally high in the middle of last year. So because last year's peak was so inflated, I'm predicting we're going to be seeing news stories all summer about how prices have fallen because people will be looking at a negative year over year price change, but we are going to be having prices up month over month, continuing at a normal pace for what we usually see in a yearly market cycle. So now you have the inside scoop. When you see those stories, you'll know that actually prices are not going down. The reporters are looking at stats and graphs that they just don't understand. And when you hear friends and coworkers saying that house prices are falling, feel free to point them to this video as a brief explainer of what's really happening. That's our Nerd Corner. Let me know what you think in the comments. Did that make sense? Are there other topics you want to know more about? Make sure you drop a like on this video to get this info out to more people, and maybe go ahead and share this with a friend to make sure they're informed on what's going on in our market, especially if they're planning to move this year. Thanks for watching. My name is Chase Hansen. I'm a real estate agent serving buyers and sellers in the DFW and North Texas area. If you or someone you know are looking to move this year, I would love to be the agent that gets you where you're trying to go. You can email me directly at chasehansen at remax.net. Follow me on Instagram at Hanson Realtors DFW for more great content or to DM and connect. And you can find that contact info in the video description as well. Be sure to subscribe, like, and check out the other videos on my channel. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.